<laughs> all right hey guys what's up it's wolf your one and only how how are my adventures doing hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day uh if, if i seem a little bit giggly it's, it's because we kind of have a audio issue going on <laughs> currently which which is with the uh, battle theme you you guys will hear it it'll be fixed by the time uh you guys see anything else like within the actual like game but um at the moment we didn't do like a whole bunch but we did do like a little bit of bug fixes changes and stuff like that um so when it comes to um let's go ahead and start um so the first thing we did is that we took away the whole dots and we actually have like normal numbers and percentages and we did recolor the percentages to show you guys that it's in the green, it's neutral, or it's in negative. So that means they're taking more damage from that certain element that the move is, uh, has. Uh, the next thing we did is mostly in combat. Next few things we did were kind of in combat. First, we had to make the audio... Um, we had to make the audio loopable it's safe to say that the audio is loopable but um i'll just show you guys <laughs> the audio is definitely loopable <laughs> shouldn't be doing this but the funnier thing is if i go to my to my uh streaming pc it, it works for a little bit then I go back. Then it gets loud. Then it does it back again. I go back over here. Go back. Then it does it again. So right now, that's an issue that's currently going on. But we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try and ignore that and go into the combat. So uh, we now have the move hovering details. So if I hover over to move, you guys can actually see the details of what's going on here. Um, I should probably put percentage over that. 12 to 18 yes we should probably get percentage over that because that is uh percentage damage um so yeah and we also added in damage if they blink that means their uh damage been dealt and we now have animations to where players cannot spam these buttons too so that's one of the things that i talked about that i wanted to do is lock people out from instantly spamming over and over and over again so it doesn't like cause any actual like gameplay issues so it instantly goes like that and if you guys have realized that the hp and mana don't instantly go down anymore it actually has an animation to it now as well to where it slows slowly goes down slowly goes back up so now that's actually a nice thing that happens as well so that's also been you know doubled it i think another one was a uh, combat log to where you guys can actually see what move is used and how much damage it did so that's also another thing the dialogue box will be changed this is a placeholder I will have like an actual box up here and it will actually have like the correct info and stuff like that. But um, as of right now, that's going to be a placeholder. Um, I did fix a little bit of Dark Elf Novelist. Novice? I don't, even, I don't know why I keep saying Novelist. Novice. Um... Ah, oh, damn. I do have to be uh, full screen for this. Hold on. It's a, it's a little bit of weird of how she acts for this. I think it's because she's too tall. I think that's mostly why. I haven't added in any of the other most girls just yet. Until I, like, figure out, like, how to fix this. And I I, I figured, out, figured it out. I mean, she looks a lot better in there than what she currently was to where she was, like, very squashed. And the weird thing of how I fixed her is 
this. I have to push in the character. I have to literally go into a uh, photo P and squish her in for her to actually like, you know, look normal because the image is currently like, you know, squishing her down. So she's becoming way wider than she needs to be. But with squishing her in, you know, inward, it's actually displaying right. It's weird, right? Sounds weird. But, you know, that's exactly what's uh, going on there. At least we fixed that. So, yeah, a lot of things are going on. A lot of things are being fixed. Uh, like I said, inside of um, the community tab, my developer will be on a month long break. So I will be heading towards dealing with map creation. And this map creation it will basically be the map to where you guys will choose which dungeon you want to go into and actually do. Then I will try and, you know, do a map layout. It won't be like an actual like map like right away. Like everything is testing. So we are in like very, very like pre-alpha type shit right now. So yeah, please be patient with me <laughs> so i'm probably gonna have like okay i'm going to my outer monitor by mistake okay but yeah probably gonna have like a button over here or right next to this button that'll be labeled so i can probably head to that dungeon this will also introduce the the teleporting system so I can have it to where it will teleport me to said dungeon. Now I'm going to have to pick the safest places to where the dungeon will like spawn you and will like clip you down through the map or how it's going to spawn you. Probably dropping you from a certain distance or at least have all spawns a little bit low to where it drops you to where you won't clip out. We're going to see. Um, then there's also the fact of me gonna have to make placeholders or grab placeholders for like chests and stuff like that. And we're gonna have to figure out like procedurally generating like the loot and everything. Like I want to make five different layouts. They're all going to be like different, but you'll know the layouts, but all the loot and chests and other things will be randomized on that map. Some of them will show up in one spot that you're used to like an item showing up in another run on that same, same map. And sometimes, you know, it won't show up. It sometimes it will, et cetera, et cetera. You guys get it. The whole procedurally generated road like thing. But yeah, that is pretty much everything I have right now. I will be starting on the map uh, tomorrow because that will be my, because after I'm done with my night shift, I will be off and I can actually like put in all my thoughts into map creation and seeing how I actually want the lure to be because I have several places for certain monster girls to be, but it's thinking of how I'm going to play out this map and how the world building is going to go. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the map 2D or if I'm going to keep the map 3D. 3D would probably be a lot of work. So probably 2D. Who knows? We shall see. With that said, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one when I have more information. Until then, peace out.